today I want to show you how to do an Edgar Degas ballerina. I've always wanted to be a ballerina, I just love the idea of dancing. So I want to show you a little bit about Edgar Degas. So his name's Edgar Degas, so you can write that on the back of your work if you like. He was French and he was born 1834 and he died in 1917. He was really known for, he was a French artist, but he was really known for doing um, pastel drawings and oil paintings of ballerinas. He was amazing, absolutely amazing. And he loved the idea of dance, so he loved the idea of movement. So that's what I kind of want to incorporate today in how pastel, our pastel woman dancing. Um, we can do a man as well, but we haven't got time to do a man, so I'll do a man another time. But I'm going to do a woman just because it's quite nice to draw her tutu dress and to make it really uh, like a sense of movement of awesome colours. So let's go. I wanted to show you some of his work. So we've got, it's covered in paint, my picture. But can you see he used um, chalk pastel there, which is what we're going to use today. Love the colours, love the way he's made the tutus look really funky, like they look really full of energy, I feel like, beautiful colour. Then we've got, this is a painting, so that one's lovely isn't it? Really nice, makes me want to do ballet for sure. This one's a lovely one, chalk again. So it's just, they're getting ready to go on stage. Different coloured tutus again, really really nice outfits. And then this one's really lovely, it's in the National Gallery, we might have to check that one. Um, but it's a bronze statue of a ballerina by Degas, and it's beautiful, it's just so lovely. Um, it's a little girl about to do some ballet. So we're going to do our own ballerina. So what you need to do is you need a pencil and you need a piece of paper and you want it to be up this way. So portrait, and we're going to start. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to draw a circle. Now this circle is going to be massive, it's like a big cookie. So draw the circle roughly that size. I like to sort of go around mine more than once to get the circle. So if you're not quite sure how to do a circle, don't just do it once, just lightly go around it with your pencil, just lightly, lightly. Then I want to do a shape that's a little bit like a U. Can you see where I've put it? I've drawn it out roughly just to help you because if I do it from the side I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> but we want to do a smile, like a smile up there. Not in the middle, it's up there more so. It's a bit like an apple with a bit, a bit, a bit going on there. And then we're going to go up, up. So you're going to go up quite a bit and you can just do this if you like, just so it makes it easier for now. So it's a little bit like an upside down, it reminds me of a bucket, a little bit actually. <laughs> and then what we want to do is we want to do, do lines coming out. You know when you went to school, if you wore a skirt or anything that's got creases in, like if you think about the creases coming out of things. So I think even if you wear an apron it might happen. So you can do the lines like that and you can decorate whatever you want on that dress but we're not finishing the dress yet. What we'd like to do is from here, you're gonna do a head and a neck and everything. So if I draw a line going in the middle, and it's gonna go up like this. So you just, it's like a stick. That's a bit of a wobbly line. Just go straight up, but it's on an angle. Can you see it's not straight up like this? It's like a bit of an angle, straight like that. Then we're gonna do this, we're gonna do a neck. So the neck is here. Can you see it's above the circle? This makes it super easy now to draw the rest because all we're going to do is she's got a shoulder and then an arm, just like that. Don't You don't need her arm that long, but if you think about my arm, you know, arms are quite long. They go past your bottom really, all the way down. So let's just draw up here, she's got an arm going up. Right, now we've got to connect the arms to make it look like her arms. So we're going to do, touch this bit here, and you can do thick, 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 thin, thin. And what I like to do is make the hands simple. So it's simple like that. All I did was down, 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 make a thumb, and then make this bit of a long banana. Then here, we're going to go up. So it's chunky, chunky, small, small. A thumb, can you see how I've done that thumb? And then fingers. 
it's, it's a bit like a glove. You do not have to do all the detail of the hand. A lot of people get caught up with the detail of the hand and get panicked. So don't worry, just do it simply. Just keep it simple. Right, on the neck, we're gonna have a really cool kind of thing coming off. So it's like a little scarf. I'll do that again in case I've done that too fast. We're gonna do line, line, two little squiggly lines. This is a ribbon. So just draw, draw the thickness of that ribbon. Now here, depending on what her dress looks like, because some women, especially with ballerinas, they have um, a dress that has this type of thing rather than straight across. So let's put that on there. Let's do like a heart-shaped neckline, it's called. Right, we're gonna rub some stuff out because this will really help us see where we're going. So anything in our arm, we're gonna rub out. Just have a go at rubbing out anything. And you'll be better than better at than me at this because you've got a good rubber probably, whereas I've got liquid and it's not helpful. So you're rubbing out all the circle we started off in her body. So don't rub it out if it's not in her body. It's just the bits in her body. So every single thing, the circle, you know that bit that we did originally? Rub that out. And we don't want what? Okay, now this will help us do our head now, but we're going to do a foot. Now, to get the foot in the right way, I always like to think okay, if her leg's down there, we're going to go straight, 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 straight. And that means there's the end of her leg. You don't see the other leg because she's sort of putting it out in the back of her, where, where her dress is. So we're just going to do a shoe that's like a ballet shoe. It's up to you how you want to do it. It doesn't matter to be honest, as long as it looks like a cool ballet shoe, then you're fine. So there's her ballet shoe. You could do it more pointy if you like. Now the head's quite important, because much like, well, my hair is not quite how I wanted it this morning, but ballerinas tend to wear buns. I think it's because it takes away the emphasis of their hair to their dress and their movement. So if they had all their hair flowing, it would get caught up in their movement. So what we wanna do is if we go up, we're gonna do a shape like that for the head. So just think rounded shape and on the top, a bun. So just do rounded head, bun. Now we wanna do this we want to shape the face more so it's actually a head rather than just a circle. So we're going to go up from this line, touch to here, we're going to go up, 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 and then up to here. So you're actually getting rid of some of that shape there. You're not getting, you're getting rid of this now. I've done that too fast. Pause the video and see it again because it's quite important to have this. And then what you need to do is subscribe, like and share if you can, because it would be really nice if we get lots of people drawing ballerinas, that would be so cool. The National Gallery actually is where a lot of the pictures of Dagar are, so if you ever go there on a school trip, look for it. So what we're trying to do is, this is her chin, oh, <laughs> this is her chin because she's doing that, so it's like this line, and then we're going to do lips, so a line like that, with a muh another bit. When I do a nose I just think it's nice to do two little bobbles because we don't need to make it look too detailed and then an eye so two eyes. Don't worry too much about the face because it's the body that's more important your eyebrows if you want you could do like a hairstyle and her ear is about there the reason why we changed the head is because she's moving it so it's not straight. You could have a straight head if you like, but I would say just like that is completely fine. And then we might want to do the boning in the corset. So it's basically the bit that keeps the, the, the corset rigid. So we could just design that. You could do that any design you like. It's quite nice to design it your own way, isn't it? And she could have bangles on her, anything you like. It's quite fun to do your own thing. She's normally got flowers in her dress, but you could do anything. You don't have to do flowers. 
Now what I want to do is if you think about the dress, it's not just a circle. So we're going to make it wobbly because that makes it look more natural. So think about organza fabric it normally is. It's a certain fabric that falls, might be netting as well actually. So just make it a little bit more, but then you could just do lines coming in if you like. You don't really have to do that, but if you want to, it makes it look quite pretty. Then we can have a go at colouring it in. So let's think, he did chalk. So we're gonna do chalk as well. I wanna show you something really awesome, the way she did, he, did, he, did, he painted the dresses. So I'm using chalk pastel. Now he used chalk pastel, so it is nice to use, but you don't have to. You could use paint or whatever, but with the chalk pastel, you can create a really cool look. So she's quite light skinned, but you can do any skin you like. Um, yeah, go with any skin you want to do. So I'm gonna use this skin color, which is kind of peachy, just probably a lot lighter than me, but we're just gonna do a light color for now. And as I say, any colour that you want to use for the skin, you do it. So if you want it to be a darker brown, just use a dark brown pastel. If you want it to be a lighter brown, use a light brown pastel. She doesn't even have to be a realistic skin. It could be, you know, if you wanted her to be really funky, she could have pink, bright pink, luminous skin. Or she could have a blue skin if you want. It doesn't really matter as long as the dress and everything just looks really cool and like it's movement. A bit like an avatar, avatars are blue, they're quite cool. So her hair, I'm gonna do brown. But if you did a very dark skin, maybe you could do uh, black hair. And if you wanted to, you could do maybe a blonde hair with a, a black skin, a very dark skin. So whatever you wanna do. What I want you to do as well is smudge the skin so whatever color you've chose just smudge just forget the fact i did two pecs there so it's quite messy isn't it right i'm gonna do pink i just i love pink so i'm gonna do a bright pink for her scarf that looks cool love it hmm i want to do a dark red for this bit And you could mix and match, it doesn't have to be one colour. You could do pink and blue even. Might do that actually. So there's my lines coming out. Right, now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna maybe take this colour, just cause it's funky. I like the idea of blue as well. I'm just gonna do, can you see what I'm doing? I'm just doing it out like that. really makes it come to life. I really want to do a little bit of blue. I don't know why, it's just something about the blue that I love. Right, now what I want to do is, because this line you won't see that very dark, I can because it's the ink, you can smudge it out. So you've got your maybe two fingers, you're smudging it out to make it look like the dress is going out to nothingness so it's really cool like it's just really beautiful looking that line of yours would not be that dark so yours would look amazing okay now what else do we want on her i like the idea of a blue bracelet you give her red lips just because it looks quite striking and then you want to go over her possibly with a black colored pencil just because you want to put all the detail of her face in there because you might not be able to see it once you've gone over it in pastel. Let's do some pink shoes because clearly pink's the theme of the day for me, isn't it? <laughs> I seem to love pink right now. I never used to like pink ever, so it's quite interesting, isn't it? So ignore that because that was my tippet. So that's roughly what you want for the woman. Shall we do some cool flowers on her? be really nice actually to do different types of of people so you could do a woman dressed like that you could do a man dressed like that you could do 
different styles of people. You could do a person with a cool hairstyle, you could do a person with a different coloured skin. So just make sure you do, make sure you have a go at doing different things because it's really fun to do. Just trying to make that a bit more darker. I think. So any colour dress, doesn't matter. And if you wanted to go around the outside, you could. I quite like not to, for some, for some reason. I just like the fact that it fades into nothingness, but if you wanted to, you can. And then to make her, to give her movement in the actual picture, if you wanted to, you could say, right, I'm gonna sort of do squiggles, it's like energy, like it looks energetic if you squiggle it, a bit like, almost like you're um, scribbling basically. So that gives it quite a lot of energy, I think, because of the colour and you could smudge that. Or if you want to draw a background, you could do her on a stage. You could pretend it's you. That'd be quite cool. So you could literally draw a stage if you wanted to. I might just quickly do it now. So I'd get a line, I'm doing it with chalk. And then maybe you could do perspective as a stage. So these are the floorboards of the stage. And she's just dancing on them. That would be cool. So you put in what you want to put in. No one's telling you what you have to do. Just try and do that one ballerina. I might have a go at doing some more ballerinas at some, some point. But even, you can even do music, can you? Because she's dancing to the music like me this morning. <laughs> I love dancing. Ta -da! There we are, so there's my ballerina. As I said before, get a uh, watercolour black pencil and just draw over. Because I've got my black um, lines from my pen, you don't want to go over chalk with black pen, pen, but you can do it with a black watercolour pencil or just a normal black pencil. I've got one here, so I would take this and I would just fill in all the detail with the black because it makes things stand out, you know, like the head, the face, the eyes. So you could go over that. You could give her an earring if you want. Give her some hair that flickers down, like my one. Like my hair always comes down, so that was kind of cool. So just have a bit of fun with it. See how you get on. Send me your pictures in. Really excited, and I'll see you soon.